This video is part of an article on Brock Faber released on epricside.com. As a rookie, Brock Faber is playing 25 minutes a night on average for the Wild this season, in every situation. That's very impressive. He might not win the Calder, considering he's playing his first year at the same time as Connor Bedar, but he absolutely deserves the honor, too. Those two are reunited on the recent road trip. Zuccarello looks, fires wide, rebound, Faber scores! Faber is not the most creative defenseman, but he's very well-rounded. He can contribute offensively, and he's already one of the better shutdown defensemen in the league. But the most fascinating aspect of his play, and maybe his biggest strength, is his retrieval game. One of the hardest plays in the NHL is getting the puck off the back wall in the defensive zone under forechecking pressure. And this is where Faber shines the most. Just look at the tracking data of all three zones. He has one of the best marks for breakouts of retrievals. He attempts a lot of them every game, and so far he pulls them off at an elite rate. His puck moving game, in general, in the defensive zone is very good. And I think it's where his game still has the most potential too. Faber has some passing skills, you see them in these clips. He can connect with teammates in the middle of the ice by going through opponents, and catch pucks softly on his backhand, deflected to his forehand, before hooking it past an opposing stick to another teammate skating up ice. But to be an elite puck mover, it's not enough to just be a great passer. Being a good defender also matters. You need to be able to first seal the puck from opponents so that you can use your passing skills, launch the attack, and create scoring chances. Faber succeeds in making these breakouts first because of his defensive abilities. He can knock the puck away from opponents, catch it back and make that first short pass that then leads to a breakout. In this clip, he's also supporting the attack right after. Goal scored by a rookie, assisted by a rookie in Brock Faber and Minnesota leads 1-0. Rossi fires again at a glove save. And this is another impressive sequence. The puck gets shot behind the net. He engages the forechecker, pins him, he pushes the puck toward the teammate with his skate. That's very clever. Faber is not the biggest defenseman, he's about 6'1", but he has some real physical abilities, and he never shies away from contact. He's always right there in the middle of battles, and he's great at sealing the puck away from opponents with his body. That's the first thing you have to do to start a control breakout. You see clips of that here. He's not even really touching the puck that much, he's just preventing the opposition from making a play on it which enables his teammates to get it and make the breakout. Brock Faber throws it to the net, bounces wide, and they score! He's neutralizing sticks with his own or by using his body. He cuts right through the hands of opponents to prevent them from making a play on the puck and runs opponents in the boards when needed. He absorbs hits and bounces off the wall to make passes. He wins the difficult shoulder-to-shoulder -shoulder battles and spins in front of opponents to get first touch. He establishes an inside positioning early, absorbs the momentum of four checkers on his back, and blocks their path to slow them down. He does everything he can to maintain that inside positioning, keep opponents away from the puck, and ensure he's getting that very important first touch to start the breakout. In the clips I'm showing, it's often his teammates who look good, but it's Faber who's doing all the hard work. Addition for the Ducks on the back end, he leads the NHL in plus minus on the road this year, he's plus 19. Middleton to Boldy, Boldy waiting, fires, save goes stall, bouncing puck on the rebound. Just look at this clip. Faber is battling very hard to find a pass. He gets in a low posture and rams through the hands of the opponent, while maintaining inside positioning. He can only make a rim, but he stays right there in support. The puck comes back to him. He evades the forechecker again by making another very well-timed move and launches the puck perfectly to a teammate up the ice. Again, Faber is playing 25 minutes a night, and he's not coasting in these minutes. He's expanding a lot of energy to make these plays and still maintaining a high level of play most shifts. That's very impressive. In these next clips, he's even showing deception in the form of skate fakes on top of his physical and passing skills. He angles his feet one way, makes the forechecker think he's going in that direction before moving the puck inside space the other way. At his best, Faber is pulling more than one opponent toward him, evading them and gaining open ice. By doing this, he's instantly creating an advantage for his teammates up the ice and helping them create better offense. This is a great clip. The puck gets dumped in, his goalie stops it. At a short distance from the puck, Faber looks behind him and sees the opponent coming. He's on his right shoulder, not even a stick length away. Knowing that, Faber plans his next move. He turns his feet toward the opponent, absorbs his momentum, knocks him almost to a stop, and then escapes. 
This move required a lot of strength and awareness. The wild on the power play, and it's not just puck movement, it's body movement. Freddie Goudreau gets kind of caught in the spot, but bails himself out. Boldy score! I don't think Faber is an elite puck mover right now. This is just his first year in the NHL, and he hasn't quite figured out all the forecheck situations yet, but he's already great in the breakout game, and he has all the abilities needed to become that elite puck mover. It's wedged out towards center, Maroon and Smith battling, Maroon trying to get his stick free, and he puts it in! If you want to know more about the development of Faber, his strengths and weaknesses, you can check out my article on him on epearingside.com. So that's it for this video. If you enjoyed it, please like and subscribe to the channel.